worry about the traffic, noise, and safety concerns to come potentially if the high speed Miami to Orlando rail project does begin running through downtown Stewart in 2017. Megan McRoberts is live with all sides and what they're saying. Megan? Well, Kelly Martin County residents were given the unique and rare opportunity to address all aboard Florida representatives directly tonight. One representative sitting in the hot seat fielding questions and concerns from residents with anything but nice things to say about the train. A horn blast in the middle of a heated meeting. That's Reminds nearly 200 Martin County residents what they're fighting against. I'm fired up. <laughs> Boy, am I fired up. A plan to bring 32 more trains through downtown Stewart. Now listen to the trains behind us. It's going to get worse if they come through. In a rare opportunity to speak directly to all aboard Florida representatives. And I'd like to know what are you going to do? How am I going to keep customers? Dozens of Martin County residents unleashed about their safety concerns, traffic concerns. I think he was surprised that we knew what we were talking about. Hearing answers they say they expected. Well, you may think that it will cause delays in your ability to get around town is just simply not true. Rusty Roberts with All Aboard Florida assured residents the train would use the safest technology, have minimal impact to traffic and emergency first response times, saying it would be too expensive to move the train route west, which many residents want. And don't tell me that you can't do it. You're big boys and you've got big money. Yeah, I should have moved about five years ago. It's just not the same place it used to be. Many leaving tonight angry. I'm fired up and I live in Palm City. Others encouraged to keep up the fight that All Aboard Florida also isn't giving up. We are moving forward uh, with the project. Now, there was one supporter of the train in attendance from Delray Beach, but again, no supporter spoke from Martin County. All Aboard Florida says it still could take a couple of years for anything to happen here on the Treasure Coast. They say it actually could take even longer than that, given the, the uh, current status of some lawsuits. Reporting live in Stewart tonight, Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.